astronaut Haley Arsenault is sharing her story after becoming the youngest American to go to space. She was just 29 when she traveled on SpaceX's Inspiration4 last year. Now the pediatric cancer survivor is working in the same hospital where she was treated as a child and detailing her journey in a new memoir. Our Will Gans has that story. It's reasonable to say that Haley Arsenault sees the world in a different way. Hey, it's Haley from Orbit. The pediatric cancer survivor becoming the youngest American to go to space when SpaceX's Inspiration4 spent three days in orbit last year. Couldn't get to outer space, but could get as close to space. I mean... We're like halfway there. Haley joining us 100 stories above New York City at the edge to talk about her brand new book, Wild Ride, a memoir of IV drips and rocket ships. In the book, you say that having cancer has been the greatest gift of your life. What do you mean by that? It made me who I am. I love my life so much that I want to make the most of it and embrace these opportunities that come my way. Readers strapping in for Haley's wild ride from being a patient at St. Jude to becoming a physician assistant there. And finally, to getting that call to go to space. I just remember like looking at my hands and I was I was shaking. I was scared, um, but I I don't think I ever really considered saying no because I recognized how once in a lifetime this opportunity was and how much good it would do for my patients and just to have someone that they could look to and see that they can do big things after cancer. The book giving an inside look at the intense training process as Haley became the first person with a prosthetic body part to go to space. We didn't know how it was going to go exactly with my leg, but I just kept going back to this is bigger than me. And if more people with prosthetic body parts are going to go to space, which they should and they will, then there has to be a first. And I have that gift, that responsibility of being the first. Go Falcon, that's been inspiration for you talk about liftoff, you talk about re-entry, which sound terrifying. The thing that shook me the most is how you said you had to swallow your toothpaste. <laughs> I was like, I don't think I could do that. I, mean, I had to practice on Earth. And then I just have like tears coming down because I'm just trying to swallow this toothpaste, which I've never done before. But I'm glad I practiced on Earth. But um, but yeah, there's. I, I love talking about the human moments of being in space because I think that's what people are most interested in, is how do you live up there? and those moments from orbit that meant the most. Some of y'all on the call may know me as your PA. I work at St. Jude, have the best job ever. And like Joel, I was a St. Jude patient as a kid. And if I can do this, you can do this. And I'm so proud of each and every one of you. Now in Wild Ride, Haley sharing the lessons she's learned since splashing down. <laughs> Would you tell 10-year-old Haley going through treatment that one day she will be in space for three days? And my answer is no, I wouldn't tell her. But I think that's the beauty of life, is you don't know what's coming. And that's why on your hardest days, you have to hold on to hope that there will be better ones. And there will be better ones, better than you can even imagine. And I know this, I have lived this. What a great answer, what a great story. And Will Gans is here with more. Well, we heard Haley talking about all the physical preparations, learning to swallow toothpaste, strength training. Did she have to emotionally prepare for this? She did, and in some ways that was the harder lift for her ahead of liftoff. Uh, she talks about in the book how, I guess there's a tradition among astronauts, you write letters to your loved ones should something go wrong. So she wrote letters saying goodbye to her mom, her brother, her sister-in-law, and, you know, she just left them on her nightstand for them to find if anything did go wrong. Obviously it didn't, and thank goodness for that. But, you know, the book is super emotional. I was tearing up while I was reading it. There's a lot of emotional work that has to happen before you go to outer space, I she guess. She's writing goodbye letters to your loved ones. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Uh, you said that her packing list was also interesting. She went to space for three days, so what did she take with her? I mean, I was thinking, I panic when I'm like going to Texas for 48 <laughs> yeah. hours. I can't imagine what you pack when you go to space. So she, obviously they had to decide what they were eating up there. She opted for a lot of pizza, <laughs> like frozen pizza, yeah. Um, she talks about bringing her father's St. Jude tie to kind of commemorate him, which was a really special thing. And then, 
I love this, and I, I think you'll love this, too. She downloaded all of season four of that Netflix TV show about the Rose family, you know, Moira mm -hmm. Rose and David Rose. Can't say the title. Can't say the title on ABC News Live, but uh, so she, she could watch it while she was falling asleep. I mean, was she worried she was going to be bored in space? Not enough I, I don't to think see so, but window? you know, maybe if you're getting a little <laughs> bit stressed, you want to wind down, why not check in with the Rose that. family? Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Even in space, people want a little Netflix action. I'm here for it. Yeah, I was probably watching the same episode, you know, thousands of feet beneath her as she was orbiting the Earth. Well, you would be watching ABC News Live, right? Well, yeah, that. I, I alternate back and forth. <laughs> My faves, Moira Rose and Diane Macedo. Will Gans, great to have you. Great story. Thank you. Wild Ride is out now wherever books are sold. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.